Welcome to Elias Family Kitchen, everyone. My name is Lynn. Today, I am going to make a very popular American Chinese dish, Mongolian beef. I will make two different versions with the same ingredients. In one of the versions, I will fry the beef so we'll get crispy slices of beef with a sweet and savory sauce. In another version, I will saute the beef so we get tender, juicy slices of beef. Let's get started. Please check the description below for a complete list of ingredients. Today I am using chuck to make this dish. Chuck is a tough cut of beef, so to make it tender and juicy, we need to tenderize it with baking soda. And what I have here is eight ounces of chuck that has been sliced into quarter inch thick. And to tenderize the meat, we'll need half a teaspoon of baking soda and then one tablespoon of water. I'm going to add the baking soda to the water, mix it up, and then pour the mixture over to the beef. Mix the beef. With the mixture, the beef will absorb the liquid. Once all the liquid is absorbed, set it aside for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. The beef has been sitting on the countertop. And we're going to rinse the beef. We're going to, we're trying to remove the baking soda from the beef to avoid getting a metallic chemical aftertaste. Rinse it a couple of times. After the second time, try to squeeze as much water out of the beef as possible. To make sure the beef is as dry as possible, I'm going to dry it with paper towel. Line the bowl with paper towel on the bottom. Put another paper towel on top. And then put another layer of beef on top. Press down and squeeze all the water out of it. Now we're ready to marinate the beef. For that, we're going to need one teaspoon of oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil. Two teaspoons of regular soy sauce, one and a half teaspoon of cornstarch, and then one eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. We're just going to add all the marinade ingredients into the beef. Massage to combine it. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to make two versions of this. The only difference between the two versions is how the beef is prepared. So the first version, which is what I'm going to make first, is with crispy fried slices of beef. For that, we're going to heat up about four cups of uh, cooking oil to 375 degrees, and then we're going to fry the beef that we just marinated. Drop the beef in. Piece by piece, make sure they're not sticking to each other. After six minutes, the beef is about is golden brown and crispy. We're going to remove it from the fryer and strain it on paper towel. Next, let's make the sauce. For the sauce, we're going to need two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of hot water, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, and then also two tablespoons of regular soy sauce. To make the sauce, we're going to add the hot water in the medium-sized bowl and then put the brown sugar in there. Whisk to dissolve the brown sugar. Once all the sugar has dissolved, we're going to add the soy sauce and oyster sauce. Here are the rest of the ingredients that we need. Half a teaspoon of finely minced ginger, two cloves of garlic finely minced, about two teaspoons, 
have a red uh, chili pepper. You can also substitute with dried chili peppers. Three green onions uh, cut into about three inch long pieces. And then to make a slurry that thickens the sauce, we're going to need one tablespoon of water mixed with one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now we're ready to put the dish together. With the wok smoking on high heat, drizzle about two tablespoons of oil into the wok. Give it a quick swirl. Make sure the oil is coating the bottom of the wok evenly. Into the wok, we're going to add the green onions, peppers, garlic, and ginger. dissolved sugar will be dissolved. Give the slurry, the cornstarch and water mixture a quick mix. And we're going to add this into the wok as well. This will thicken up the sauce, mix it evenly. And it's done. Now I'm going to make the second version of the beef with the beef sauteed in the wok. With the wok on high heat smoking, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil into the wok and make sure it's evenly coating the bottom of the wok. And then we're going to add the beef into the wok. Break it up. the beef is about 90% done. It should be just a tiny bit of pink in the beef. There you have it, Mongolian beef cooked two ways, one crispy fried and one sauteed. Both have the exact same ingredients and the exact same sauce. I must say I like the crispy version a little bit better because the different ways of preparing the beef actually creates a different flavor of the finished dish. Let's give it a try, shall we? Check this out, this is fried and it's crispy. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Crispy beef with a savory and slightly sweet sauce. And it's a little bit spicy from the peppers. Absolutely perfect. Let's try the, the sauteed one. Okay, so, oh, this is a big piece of beef.
The beef in this sauteed version is so tender and juicy because we tenderize the beef first. And even though they have the exact same sauce, but it tastes like to me that this one, the, the sauce is a little bit more caramelized versus in this one is the sauce is more of a balanced sauce. It's really interesting how different the flavor of the dishes taste. I would love to hear which versions of this you like better. So feel free to leave me questions, comments, and feedback down below and let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.